What's going on guys? So in front of me, you were looking at something pretty dang different. Very different, very special, because they've done things from a graphics perspective I've never seen done before on any RV ever. And they've executed on it pretty dang well, to be honest with you. This is a cool looking destination fifth wheel. Now, when we talk about destination, what's the whole point of a destination unit? It's to take it to a destination and pretty much leave it there. You might move it around occasionally, but for the most part, it's meant to almost act as a permanent residence at a location. That's typically why you see them shaped the way that they're shaped. They definitely don't have a great wind profile, but they're huge. And they have all sorts of amenities, and many of those amenities are very residential in nature. So I think you're going to enjoy this video. Behind me, I got my good friends at eTrailer here again. So eTrailer has made it kind of this thing to make this, this voyage from, from St. Louis out to Indiana to spend time with me and to help me review products and, and look at some of the RVs and things like that. Got Tyler, who I've worked with for over seven years now. S super cool guy. I got AJ. I call him Muscle. And uh, he brought the guns with him. Right. Show the guns. All right. All right, there you go. And then we got David. So David's super cool. He works with affiliates. He's the affiliate manager. And uh, he's the one that kind of uh, I reach out to whenever I need stuff to be able to review or we're going to do some type of review or they get something really cool and they're like, hey, GAD, do you want to review this? And then, uh, so he's my guy. But this is the e-trailer team. Super great crew. And we're going to take a look at this absolutely awesome destination Cedar Creek from Forest River fifth wheel. So let's check it out. Hang tight. I'll be right back. First, let's start and take a look at the numbers on this thing. I have no idea what the numbers are, except what I can see right now, but I don't know if it's going to be heavier or lighter than I think. So it has a gross vehicle weight rating of 20,820 pounds. So it's about the same as a, a large toy hauler has a dry weight of 14,828 pounds, has a cargo capacity of 5,933 pounds, and it's 42 feet, six inches long. So, E-rated 16 inch tires, triple axle. Um, and one other thing before I miss out, it has 6,000 pound axle. So it has 18,000 pounds worth of axle capacity, which means you're gonna be transferring a lot of weight to the back of your vehicle, especially if you load this up. Now, if you don't load this thing up to capacity, it's not that heavy, to be honest with you. It's as heavy as your typical full profile, you know, medium luxury trim fifth wheel. It's not a terribly heavy unit. And what I mean by that is they've put almost 6,000 pounds worth of cargo capacity in this. And I would really doubt that anybody would load this thing up with 6,000 pounds worth of cargo. Matt, would you load this thing up with 6,000 pounds of cargo? Only if I got my hitches from eTrailer.com. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Hey, what is that stuff in your hand? Liquify, the best RV toilet treatment in the industry. And if you didn't hear them, Burger. it's Liquify, the best toilet treatment in the industry. Promo Check it code out. BTBRV, for, uh, buy one, get one on your first order. Maybe soon to be on eTrailer.com, I don't know. Maybe soon to be on BTBRV.com. Oh, I didn't even know uh, about that one. We'll talk about that one. Love this thing, This thing is super, super cool. So. Diving further into it again, I think the reality here is that most people might load this up with about 1,500 pounds worth of stuff. Maybe a little bit more if you're using it as a residence. You might put more things inside of it. But for the most part, I think you could keep this thing well under the gross vehicle weight rating. Let's deal with the, uh, the graphics elephant in the room first of all. This is all graphics. And I don't know how they did this. It's probably some type of a printed laser graphics. It looks very real, other than the fact is it's super high gloss. But this is a really, really cool finish, and I've never seen them do this before, again, especially with this types of graphics. Again, this is a cottage from Cedar Creek. It's got storage all around it. This is where your propane cans actually are. So it's got two 30-pound propane cans, Truma AquaGo on-demand water heater. It has scissor jack stabilization at six points, and then you have your hydraulic front landing gear. Tires are nothing super special, Tamarack tires. Um, you know, su not super high quality. They're basically designed to be a tire to get you wherever this is going to live, right? But the graphics package, again, is really, really unique on this thing. It has a nice high gloss glass door on it. But this is really cool. Let's hop inside and see what this thing is all about. All right. Going up the extra wide, like super wide. What are these? Moride? Moride step above steps. This is different. 
Now, I know there are all sorts of takes on this type of RV, and we have seen a lot of destination series styles, mini lofts, loft units, everything, but they've all been a little unique, and this one definitely qualifies as being unique. Check this out. So you got a lot of, a lot of really interesting features going on here. Really cool kind of neutral, subtle color tones. Nice lit areas. Really, really beautiful, beautiful looking kind of architectural ceiling to it. All of this stuff I'm absolutely sure is cosmetic only. But the reason you might get something like this is because you want it to be very homey feeling. Very nice. Soft closing. We get soft closing drawers in here as well. You do. And check that out. Wow, so you actually have a utensil holder on top of a utensil holder. Dovetail joints, so that is really cool as well. So you get dovetail joints in here, soft closing cabinets, soft closing drawers. You get the Furion large three burner drop-in stove, which is really nice. This is a freestanding setup. Up here you have your Furion microwave. This is a residential non-convection microwave. You have your, is that a Furion? Nope, that's an Everchill 12 volt residential style French door refrigerator. I love how everything blends well together right here. And then you have your classic wood tones up top, nice dark woods. Right here is probably gonna be your trash, two trash bins. Check that out. That is absolutely awesome. Look at this, more custom built drawers. So you have spot for your knives right here. It's underneath it. This is really cool. So your spices and stuff, I'm guessing, I can't really recall what would go here, but I'm guessing your spices would. The drawers are beautiful drawers. Again, all dovetail. Huge window right here. They do not appear to be dual pane, but they could. I'm not sure if that's a dual pane window or not. And then you have your seats right here. Nice little bar area. All right. So I'm gonna ask the e-trailer crew to come on board so they can all come on board and start familiarizing themselves with the interior. And then we'll come back and we'll, uh, we'll interview them on what they think. Well, at least I got one of them. I got David on board. How's it going, buddy? Good, so, how you doing? I'll let you spend time in here while I continue the review and then we'll come back and I'll get your opinion on stuff. Check out the drawers, soft closing drawers, soft closing cabinetry, but I love the built-ins that they put in these top drawers. So you have a nice semi-sectional right here. Really cool chase at the end. This is gonna also turn into a bed. There's no slides on this back section right here, but I love how they've done this wall. This wall, it literally looks like the media room in a Best Buy. This is a really, really beautiful setup here. That's all backlit. Huge, huge window right here. Has the new shades from, or these are the new windows from Lippert that actually can either black out or they can shade, which is really nice. Check out this area here. So this is your staircase going up to your rear loft. Then you have these drawers that are built in underneath it, all soft closing. And then I love the fact that they no longer have those traditional valances around the windows. This is all super nice and flush, and that's courtesy of this new style of window. Again, you can black it out, or these might just be blackout. So these are blackout. I don't see the shades on these. Okay, we're gonna go up these wooden stairs to this top loft. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you, this loft is not as tall as some of the other lofts I've seen in these destination style units. It appears to probably be about four inches shorter, so the kiddos could definitely fit up here, but as an adult, you, you probably wouldn't wanna be in this room. This is just, it'd be a tight squeeze to get in and out. You'd be kind of crawling on your side, but it is a huge space. Looks like you have two twin mattresses here, and they're big, thick mattresses, too. They're definitely not your traditional, like, two-inch thick mattresses. You definitely want to be a little careful coming down here as well. Part of the reason this is so narrow is it's really designed for the kids, and because if you make this too wide, it really will eat into this space right here. So far, are you liking what you're seeing? Yeah, this is really nice. Uh, they, they've done a good job with this unit, for this sure. This is cool. I'm gonna continue on, brother. Keep looking, see if you will, see if you like that loft space. Okay, so we're gonna go into this space right here. Now, I don't know if this is the only bathroom. I think it is, but it's a pretty nice bathroom. Um, my only, you know, aspect to this is it's got a frosted window on it, and it comes off of the kitchen. 
So I'm not saying that that's terrible, but there are people I'm sure who are going to comment and say, I don't prefer the bathroom coming off the kitchen, especially because again, you got a frosted window here, which not that, you know, you can see through it, but it's just a little interesting. It looks great, but maybe the execution on it could be a little different. They do set the toilet way back at the back here. So it's not like you're right next to the kitchen area. However, I know some people will probably comment on that. You have your Splendid washer and dryer already in here. I love the fact that they put this in the middle. Now, I do not know what this is yet. Oh, this is cool. So this is like a drying rack, I think. Okay, so somebody's gonna know exactly what this is, probably the people at Cedar Creek, but to me it looks like a drying rack or maybe even some type of an ironing rack. But that is really cool nonetheless. But you have your porcelain above mounted bowl style sink. I know they have another name for this, but I'm not too worried about it. You have your drawers here. Again, all soft closing, strong magnets holding everything shut. That is a really cool, super contemporary mirror. That is really, really nice. Over here, you have some shelves. This is just a beautiful bathroom. It's a little narrow, but it's still very functional. Porcelain foot flush toilet, nice one piece shower stall system with LED lighting above it. And then you have a multi-head sprayer in here as well. Very, very cool. Okay, then right here are all your controls. You have your solar charge controller, 30 amps. I don't know how much solar is on the roof, but I'm sure they've probably put a pretty good amount. I can guess probably at least 200 watts, if not more. Then right here, you're gonna have your zoned thermostat system. That is really cool. You have a Coleman mock air conditioning system here. Probably, I don't know if there's just two ACs in here. There might just be two ACs. Let's see. So you have another loft right here. This is a smaller loft. Your staircase to, or your ladder to get up to it. Still pretty nice. But again, not super tall ceiling heights. About as tall as the loft that we have in our Brookstone. So it's definitely functional. The, the smaller kids will enjoy it for sure. But as an adult, you probably wouldn't want to be crawling in and out of it. All right, heading into the front overhang. This is the upper deck area bedroom. So we have a huge closet right here. It's not terribly deep, but it is a very functional closet. Definitely deep enough for most hanging clothes. Nice shelf above. Again, the colors and accents in here are gorgeous. You have your windows at the front. And of course, because this is a fifth wheel style, the windows aren't as tall as you might see on some destination units. Then you have your bed right here, king size bed, but it is absolutely beautiful. And there's tons of windows in here, lots of light, a lot of visibility, a lot of wardrobe space, huge TV. You have your second air conditioning unit in here. It all appears to be ducted as well, but this is really cool, right? What do you guys think? I'd love to get your opinion on this thing. I'm gonna come back to David real quick. And I'm gonna see if he can summarize what he thinks about this unit. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I think it's a really good job. They, they did a really good job with the accent pieces and uh, customizing this. The only downside I think I see is that I wish there was an actual table. They have this fold-down table, which is nice, but I wish there was some sort of... Like an island with a bar. Yeah, island yeah. or something like that that uh, the whole family could kind of sit at. But besides that, I think this is uh, a really great unit for families. Yeah, you know what would be kind of cool, different, is if they had a bar that could be pulled out here and had flaps that lifted up on the side and you could seat a lot of people on each side of it. Then when you're done, you roll it back against the side. It straps to the side and it, the, the, the wings collapse down and you have kind of a, a little, I guess you'd call it... Um, Kind of a buffet table there. Yeah, yeah. You know that, what? I think that's a that's a really good idea. Um, like I said, this is pretty nice. It folds down, so it kind of gets out of your way. But I wish they had like an island or an actual table for the whole family to sit at. So, have you seen one of these sinks yet? I have not. So this is a really cool multifunction sink, and it took me a while to figure out what all these things can do. So, of course, you have all of these different parts to it. You have a cutting board. You have a straining rack right here. You have your vegetables and stuff right here. You have a, a glass washer. You put your glass in here. It yeah. sprays water into it. You have your soap dispenser. But what do you think this is? It took me a while to figure out what that was until actually somebody told me. Yeah, I'm not sure what that is. So that is a rinsing station. So if you have your vegetables and everything over here, you pull this out, slide that over, drop that in. I guess there's an order that you have to do all this. 
but you turn this on and it streams water out right okay. here. So if you have fruits, vegetables, things like that that you've cut up on your cutting board, you simply slide it all over to your rinse station right here and you can rinse it off. That is really cool once I realized what that was for. That is just yeah, that's pretty neat. awesome. Yep. And this is one of those things that you're seeing more and more in a lot of different RVs, but it is absolutely something that people can appreciate. And I like these types of upgrades. That looks really cool, especially the tinted nature to that stainless steel. Yep. But guys, I sure hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a comment below. I'd love to know what your thoughts are on Cedar Creek's cottage take of the destination fifth wheel or the destination RV in general. David, thank you for coming on the channel. We appreciate it. Like. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, and we will talk to you again very soon.